this little worm comb is quite nice. Uh, it came with the worm sifter, which I'll review later. One of the problems when you're raising worms is you can just squish your worms with your hands here. You just squish them and hurt them and injure them. When you have a worm comb like this, it's almost like a garden fork. See there? Lots of worms, but we're not hurting them. If I had my hand doing that, I probably would have injured a good number of worms. So look at that. A lot of worms there. See? don't know why they like hanging out on the edges, but they do. I, again, I got it from Mimi's. Um, I ordered it, but it, I guess it came with the, the, the sifter as well. A lot of times these European night crawlers hang out toward the bottom of the bin. So as you can see, you have the big knobs here. They're not sharp. They're round. And there's a, a nice gap between each thing so that you can, you can move a lot of material but not injure the worms. And you can also scoop them. It's, they're narrow enough that you can scoop, almost like a trowel. I just wondered if this was going to be a gimmick when I first got it, but I, I, I just, after the year or so I've been working on this worm bin, I could definitely see how using my hands you would just injure the worms. But with this, they're perfectly safe. It's, it's, it's been worth it for me. Okay. Okay, so this is the worm sifter that you saw earlier in the video. Again, from Mimi's. And uh, this, my friends, has made life so much easier. I think one of the problems I had is the uh, worms, uh, you know, I was kind of throwing out the baby with the bath water. In other words, you're getting rid of those baby worms and the eggs because I didn't have a way of really sifting them very well. It comes with two, it comes with a nice frame. It comes with an, an, a quarter inch um, galvanized mesh bottom with wheels for sifting, and then and then an, an eighth inch galvanized bottom to sift out eggs and baby worms. And they have these little caster wheels makes it easy to sift. For some reason this one has that knot in it. I'm going to have to fill it in with some epoxy and wood flour. It stows very nicely, like so. Okay, this is the small tray. She makes a large one as well. I think she, she has carpenters, actually cabinet makers make these. What's great about it is it this model can fit on a, on a basic mortar tray, right, that you get in the, uh, from Home Depot anywhere where they're doing brick mason stuff, where, you know, you're mixing up concrete and cement here. This is going to be what I call a grow out tray eventually. I'm going to take just, you know, a handful of worms, 100, maybe 200 worms, put them in here and let and have have plenty of space and room to grow to really large size. This is a nice little addition to any worm farm. Part of it's reclaimed wood, at least the runners down here. That's like it's pretty obviously reclaimed wood. But it's a well made and a piece of kit. And I'm enjoying it. It makes life a lot easier. It, you can just sift these worms very quickly and it's very efficient as well in terms of getting the worms out. 
especially for the size uh, operation I'm running. So um, follow the affiliate link below, of course, um, for if you want any of these. I earn a commission if you buy from that link. It's like um, 5% or 10%, something like that. It helps out the channel. But um, I'm, I'm happy with this. This is what I've really needed uh, just to, to make the worm growing a heck of a lot better.